world of 2011s, there are many promising manufacturers that are making a name for themselves by filling the gap between the Prodigy and Staccato price points. In the past year, we've seen manufacturers like Stealth Arms, Oracle Arms, and others come up with innovative 2011 designs that don't break the bank, but offer a slew of features. Jacob Gray is now among these manufacturers and has put out one beautiful yet purpose-driven Commander Size 2011. In full disclosure, I have not shot this pistol yet and don't intend to. I'm biased towards full-size 2011s and I've decided to move up a couple notches to the custom 2011 world with my next purchase. Unfortunately, I'll be flipping this pistol that you see here in order to do so. But I wanted to at least give you guys a first impressions video seeing that there aren't a lot of reviews out there to see. So first impressions are that this TWC9 or throwback with capacity 9 looks and feels premium. The machining is incredibly precise with tight tolerances and quality fitment throughout. The slide and all of the small pieces are stainless steel while the frame and grip are both anodized aluminum. The finish blending between the slide and frame are perfect and it's tough to tell where the steel ends and where the aluminum begins. I also love the subtle stainless two-tone look you get with the grip and frame screws, main spring pin, trigger, and bull barrel. Speaking of the 4.25 inch bull barrel, it's beautifully flush fit and reverse crowned. The slide serrations really stand out with a diamond-like pattern that looks overly aggressive, but they're actually perfectly textured for a firm grip that doesn't tear up your holster. Speaking of holster, it's blatantly obvious that Jacob Gray made this pistol as a dedicated carry option. The grips scream that loud and clear, although they've been the biggest knock on this pistol from critics. But from where I'm sitting, this is exactly the type of hybrid texture you dream of in a carry gun. The sides are smooth and won't give your belly a rash, while the mainspring housing is aggressively checkered at 25 lines per inch. The front checkering is more of that same diamond pattern and it's slightly more aggressive than the texture that's on the back corners of the grip. I believe that the rear grip is more than adequate while the front and corner serrations could use a little bit more depth. There's a slight bob cut on the rear of the grip along with a carry sized magwell. It's very nicely done and subtle enough not to print. Overall, I think they've done an excellent job with this grip and it's perfect for an EDC. Even the aggressive undercut behind the trigger guard is a very nice touch. It gives you a very firm and deliberate grip that feels slightly higher than what you'd normally expect on a traditional 1911. The one-piece trigger is also very nicely machined, has excellent texturing on the bow, and has a duty-grade 4-pound pull. It breaks very crisp with little to no over-travel, and the reset is equally short and very defined. The ambi safety is carry width, and very tactile and positive. The slide and mag release are both aggressively textured to give you more traction, which is yet again another sign that this pistol is intended for duty use. The TWC utilizes 17 round Checkmate 2011 mags and should also be able to work with Staccato and other 2011 magazines. It comes with both RMR and RMSC optics plates out of the box, along with co-witnessing excess sights. How refreshing to see a pistol labeled optics ready and actually follow through with that claim. It racks like butter and very similarly to a staccato P. It feels like a 12 pound or so recoil spring, but it glides like it's on ball bearings. Not sure how much pop it'll have as a commander size 2011, but I would assume it'll be somewhere between a staccato P and C2 in that regard. Speaking of the Staccato P, I can't help but notice how much this pistol reminds me of it. And I guess that's Jacob Gray's ultimate goal. This is a pistol that's definitely built to go toe to toe with the Staccato P and or C2. And though I can't tell you how it stacks up at the range, what I can tell you is that I do prefer the feel of this aluminum grip over the polymer one of the Staccato. I am very impressed with the build quality, materials, and fitment of this pistol. I'm sure it'll be one of many more to come from Jacob Gray, and it's a hell of a first take. If you enjoyed this content, leave a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Until next time, 
Stay safe, have a happy new year, and may God bless the Republic.